Hey folks and welcome back to Sydney Trains Vlogs and welcome back to another part of the uh, final part of uh, Canterbury along the Bankstown line uh, before the permanent closure of the Bankstown line to Sydney Trains before its conversion into Metro. Alrighty, so just like the uh, the other videos, we're going to take a walk along Canterbury platform just to document uh, what the station looks like while Sydney Trains is still operating it, um, and also have a bit of a look at um, what's been done to the station as part of its uh, conversion into Sydney Metro, as there has been works happening for quite a while now um, on its conversion, but the big, big works um, start in a or mid or just a bit bit after mid this year when the Bankstown line closes permanently for its full conversion um, including uh, platform screens uh, platform doors everything like that uh, just like most of the other stations you see these little parts here this is where the platform doors will be uh, where the where the doors of the metro trains will align uh, Sydney metro style lighting uh, these these doodads I'm not sure what they're going to be just yet. Bit of garden work on the edge here, or a garden bed anyway. There's quite a few weeds and everything like that in it. Um, but yeah, it's still still a bit of greenery, nonetheless. Uh, this here should be where the platform information screens or passenger information screens. Uh, will be located. Sydney Metro style seating uh, with the spot for the station name. So when the line opens um, as a Sydney Metro line, you'll have the, the station name, Canterbury, in the teal sign across the way there. Well, we're actually going to head over there very soon. Um, you can see the core flute uh, orange sign saying Canterbury, but yeah, that will be teal. As I keep mentioning, one thing I'm liking about the, um, this Sydney Metro project on the Bankstown line is that they are keeping these beautiful old buildings because when I very first heard that um, Bankstown line will be converted into Metro, I actually thought they were going to completely completely level every station and rebuild it into a, yeah, into a completely new station. Um, behind this wrap here is um, a help point, an information uh, thing for Metro. We'll have a look at the concourse as well. We'll head up, yeah, we'll head up the ramp and down the lift uh, onto platform one. There's just an announcement for a train on platform one. The station does have a relatively um, new lift, or lifts. We'll head down this one onto platform 
platform number one. Uh, no, we won't. Okay, cool. There is some artwork here, just like some of the other stations. Very colorful. And as the sun beams through, it's actually uh, a pretty cool effect on the ground. So I'll spin around out of peak at that. It's really cool. So as part of this series, um, As part of this series, um, I actually kind of wanted to get this done, uh, all of them, except Bankstown Station. Um, that one I'll wait a little bit longer. Um, so I want to, I wanted to just wait until the metro platforms are a little bit more complete than they are to do that. Um, but I wanted to get this one out of the way today um, because uh, so it's Thursday the 11th. So Saturday 13th, the Bankstown line closes for um, for over a week. So. You got the freight line there too, so we're gonna go for a little bit of a stroll up the platform towards the Bankstown end of the platform. Uh, just have a bit of a look there. A site that they were not. With, oh, sorry a sight that we are not going to see for much longer. I mean, the freight line will be there, it's just that there's going to be a sort of high fence, similar height to this, if not higher, um, that will block out the freight line. So at the other end here, this fence actually ends, but um, they've, they've started putting the posts up for um, for this fence line that's going to run the entire length of the Bankstown line separating the Sydney Metro line to, uh, or from the, from the freight corridor. Have a closer look at that sign here. Uh, got a core flute, core flute's sort of like a cardboardish plastic kind of temporary sign which has been stuck on uh, that spot where the new proper metal teal signage will sit when the line is open as a Sydney Metro line. So the line closes mid, mid, or a bit after mid this year, 2024. It'll close for 12 months or so. And um, the Sydney Metro extension from Sydney onto Bankstown will open in 2025. So in 2025, you'll be able to get a train from Bankstown all the way through to Sydney, uh, under the city, uh, Barangaroo, uh, on to Chatswood, Rouse Hill, and Talawong. So you got this area here, so the fence. This fence ends just here, and you get a pretty clear look at the, at the freight corridor, but you can see the posts have been put here for this fence to go up. But yeah. That's pretty much all I can show you with this with this video. Had the walk around, had the Sydney Metro update. Got a train or two. So you got one coming now. Well, that millennium didn't stop, obviously. So what I'll do is I'll just remain here and film whatever may or may not pass between now and the time the next train to the city stops, which is the one I'll get on. But yeah, um, it's been, been an interesting sort of little bit of a video series. So that's all the Bankstown line stations except Bankstown. Um, Bankstown will obviously be the next video. Uh, but if you looked at the date that it's filmed, you'll see that the other Bankstown line stations and this one are all filmed within, I don't know, a week or two of each other. And uh, Bankstown station itself would have been filmed a good few weeks after. I just wanted to give the Metro platforms 
at Bankstown a bit more time to complete, to be complete. So, yeah. So we've got a Lidcombe service in one or two minutes, and then my train will come in about five or six minutes time. Not gonna hold my breath, because it's not recommended to do that for long periods of time. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping to get a freight train come through at the last second sort of thing, but either way, if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't, that's fine. Um, but yeah, here comes that Lidcombe train. And this Lidcombe service will stop all stations to Bankstown, then Yaguna, Birong, Regents Park, Barella, and Lidcombe. B32. One thing that I really regret um, is not taking many photos of, of Sydney trains trains um, on the Epping to Chatswood rail link. I might maybe got a, a thumbnail shot or two for the you know past videos and um, a couple of photos on the last day, but I didn't really take too many photos. So I'm definitely doing that along the Bankstown line now uh, before, before you don't see these trains on the line anymore. Right, this is my train, A49. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video, all that stuff, and I'll catch you soon. Alright, cheers for watching. Bye for now.